Hello Shoppers and viewers. In this video we'll be showing you how you can check your pulse oxygen saturation percentage. And here we'll be using a pulse oximeter. This one's from Contech and they claim it uses low power consumption and has a uh, high accuracy. So those are the key things we're looking for. Contact Medical Systems is the manufacturer of the one we're using, but you can find other ones online if you shop around. And the other thing to keep in mind is the operating environment. We want to make sure we're, we're working within that operating environment just for accuracy purposes. Now this is model CMS50N and it's meant to be just done with your finger. You just slip your finger in and it will get your pulse oxygen saturation percentage and also get you your pulse. So let's open it up and see what's included. And you can see there's the pulse oximeter on the left. Take that out. Very simple device. It actually uses two AAA batteries to keep it powered up. You can see on the back it mentions that it is battery voltage 2.6 volt to 3.6 volt and it's really very small. So we will actually do a demo of this in a moment. You just you can clip your finger in there, like your index finger, and you'll be able to read your pulse oxygen saturation. They also give you a little carrying case. I think it's meant for people who are exercising and you want to carry this around. If you exercise really hard, you might want to check to make sure you're you're fine, you're, that your lungs are getting oxygen if you're breathing hard and here's the manual. This is definitely a good read if you're interested in knowing the theory of how an oximeter works. The most important thing about reading the manual probably would be the operating instructions. You want to have accurate results so you want to follow the instructions appropriately and you want to do this safely. So please look at the warnings uh, on the manual to make sure you are aware of it they basically tell you that you're not supposed to be using on the same finger for over two hours and also uh, you're, you're not the your user cannot use enamel or other makeup probably because it affects the accuracy and your fingernails cannot be too long so it's this device is also not meant for to be used for treatment please read through the details so you know how to use this thing and get accurate results all right having said that let's actually go put that away and actually do a test first you can power it on by pushing the blue button and it tells you here the version number and it detects that your finger is out this model is very aggressive at saving power given that it only uses two AAA batteries so it powers down whenever it thinks you're not using it here I'm using my index finger and it is reading a, a pulse oxygen saturation of 96% and it's reading the pulse as 84 beats per minute and it could change over time so it gives you an idea of what your oxygen saturation and pulse rate is this is not a medical diagnosis obviously you're doing it at home and just gives you an extra way to check maximum pulse oxygen saturation is 100 percent and that is an ideal number Unlike apps on phones, this optical sensor uses a red light wavelength around 660 nanometers and also an infrared uh, optical sensor with, with wavelength around 880 nanometers. So it's more accurate than, for example, a phone and an app. And if we do it again, you can see that the numbers come back really quickly. So there you have it, how to read your pulse oxygen saturation using a pulse oximeter. Please keep in mind this is not a replacement to seeing a doctor. We recommend you go to a doctor to get the most accurate results. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If so, please tap the thumbs up. We'll be having more great videos to come. Please subscribe so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.